Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. We just finished talking to the nice old voodoo lady, now I'm going to come over and talk to the men with low moral fiber. I also found out that I can right click and left click. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? I uh, turned up the volume if you couldn't tell. Uh, but, uh, uh so, so hopefully you guys can hear them more clearly. And yes, especially in a light wine sauce. Yes, especially in a light wine sauce. <laughs> Get away! Do you guys know the sneaky looking man? Do you man? guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? See if I can get some money. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> of course we're pirates! You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? Is this the Monkey Island that actually has the Wandering Circus Troop? I forget. What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. Let's see here. I'll be running along. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? Uh, how come you're in the street corner? Um, let's see. Sorry I verbally abused Sorry your rat. Sorry I verbally abused your rat. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> They're pretty More intelligent. More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. Yeah, I think I could see monkeys over rats for sure. That's, that's amazing. amazing. But true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really interested, interested in the pirating, in this pirating thing. thing. What do you want? Why aren't you guys doing anything? On the street corner, and not on a ship, looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. I don't get the shifty eyes. Let's go into, uh, can we go in this door here? Ye old rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. How do you got one of those? Serving your rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. Rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. She's cute. If not a dude. Interesting. I remember this. Interesting. Is he going to pop out, out over here? I don't see anything special about it. 10 o'clock. Let's go through the archway to the other part. I believe there's another part of town, right? Yeah, this part. The shop. The uh, This thing. Can we even go in here? I don't remember if you can go in here. Did 
can go here. I don't remember there being a church in the game. What did it look like before? Okay, I guess there was a church in the game before. Is this a red herring? Honestly, I don't remember this at all. Let's go down the alley where the guy's going... Pssst. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Pretty sure that's the Chuck's voice actor as well. Almost 100% sure. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> well, see ya. Now, why are you in such a hurry? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Because that's what we always say when someone asks us this question. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. God, Kyra, she looks so stupid. Employees only. Who is going So there's a... There's a guy in here. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? This is the guy to talk to I'm how I get to talk to the Swordmaster. Sword Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. So what I need to do is follow him around. And don't touch anything! Uh... And he uh, will lead me there, but I want to come do this instead. Come on, I feel like you can open Davy this. Davy Jones Lockers. The last word in theft, fire, and grog-resistant storage devices. Digmaster. The only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Let's pick it up. Pick it up. Davy Jones Lockers, yeah, 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 the last got word that. in theft, fire, and grog-resistant storage devices. Davy Jones Lockers, Wait, part the of... last word in theft, fire, and grog-resistant storage devices. I want to open you. It doesn't seem to open. What the hell was that? It's locked. It doesn't seem to open. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, wait. See, what's that noise? It's locked. Well, it's definitely locked, apparently. Oh, there's a sword. Slashmaster. When you want a sword as sharp as your wit. Take the sword. Robin blind. Gotcha, you little thief. Maybe you'd like to pay for those. Let's see if I can get him. I'm to looking just for give the up. sword master of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. <laughs> That's and pretty don't funny. Touch anything. I don't think I'll be able to leave with the stuff though. 
Yeah, he shows up right away Looking if I'm trying to steal sword, anything. Master, are ya? Looking for a little thigh finger discount, it looks like to me. See if I ever trust you again, devious little shoplifting weasel boy. He'll trust me again. Maybe you'd like to pay for those. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. You know what I don't have? A hundred pieces of eight. I don't want it. Figures. Now how else do you want to waste my time? About this about shovel. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? Ooh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. 75 pieces of eight? I don't have that much. Then you better go put it back. Well, it looks like we're not going to be getting a sword or a shovel anytime soon. Uh, and there's no point really following him to the Swordmaster at this point, because we don't even have a sword. I believe you need a sword before... Is there uh, something here that maybe you can afford? Uh, I think I'd just like to browse. Um. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. I feel that, uh, what am I trying to say? I'll need both those things before I can need to visit the Swordmaster. Anyways, so we'll just go see the guy in prison, Otis. It's locked. It's locked. I want to look at it's the locked. rat. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. I remember uh, this part when, because uh, I already didn't know what health test was when I was a death kid. Breath? No thanks. So I'll need to get his breath better before I can talk to him. Um, we'll go look to uh, Lane Marley's house. Those are her crazy dogs. Remember the dogs. Piranha poodles. I don't think I can get past them. They look a little bit better than they did back in uh, the yield back in the day. That's what they looked like back then, and I was like, um, okay, interesting. Alright, we can't get past the piranha poodles, and we don't have any way, way to uh, get past the piranha poodles. Since we have no way to get past them, we'll just uh, head back to town uh, and go explore the rest of the island. Boom. Adding soundtrack. I don't want to go to the door. Come along. It takes forever to get out goddamn out of town. Come on. God damn it. Sorry. Accidentally uh, clicked off the screen. Oh, I didn't want to go in there. Gotta... I wish I could get mouse lock. There might be an option for that. Let's just look real quick. Um, controls. Is there a mouse lock? Does anyone see a mouse lock? Um, options. Um, I'm guessing it's no audio option. Yes, I'm gonna audio options. Alright, whatever. No mouse, lo mouse lock. That's too bad. It's the governor. Our future love. We love her. Up the cliff we go. Past this guy and out to uh, Monkey or Mealy Island. Alright, so we got a clearing. This is the, uh, the what's her name's house. Can't get there until we explore it though, so we're gonna go to uh, this guy's island instead. This is the guy I believe who teaches us how to, uh, how to, uh, sword fight. Hmm, I think it could support my weight. Alright, so. This took forever to figure out when I was a kid. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Hmm. A rubber Use. chicken with a pulley in the middle. Use. What possible use could that have? Chicken on cable. 
I remember this having the worst sound effect in the world. There you go, you use a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle on a cable. And then you very, very slowly walk to a house. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? I'm a pirate cannonball head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook, and I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a hair problem. But I'm gonna be so I'm, I'm gonna be sorry. nice. I didn't mean to call you cannonball head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. Ha 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 ha! I meant to call you Chrome Dome. Why you? Okay, so insulting him was not worth it. Let's try a uh, plan B. I suppose you've come to invade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here. Sorry. Well, that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then, I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one what attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone now? Uh, so interesting. Um, this uh, tattoo doesn't look very good. I thought it actually might look better. It kind of looks better in the original game. Uh, I'm Bob and Threadbear. I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. What was your name again, Cannonball Head? Look, I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook, and you still have a little attitude problem. Um, so let's see I'm if we sorry, can get him to like to us. Call you cannonball head. That's okay. I'd rather have a cannonball head than a ponytail. Ha 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 ha! So this time we'll laugh along with him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got a pretty good sense of humor. Ha, want to see something really funny? Ha. Let's see. Yes, please show me, Mr. Meat. Ha <laughs> ha, watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but... I don't have the time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Foreshadowing. Alright, so Whoops, apparently, I just uh... That this is the wrong house. Um, oh, okay. can't get him to teach me... Have a nice time on Melee Island. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger! Can't get him to teach me to sword fight quite yet. So this is probably a good place to end this episode. So I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it so far. I, I still freaking love this this game. And uh, I hope to see you on the next episode where we'll be doing more, hopefully some more uh, puzzle solving than we have so far. But I look forward to seeing you all next time.